to have here a simple pike tube fly. It's a red and white, probably my favourite combination of colours. So I'm using a 6mm tube. Uh, there's a 4mm tube holder, but I put a little bit of shrink tubing on there just so as it holds it. Uh, pike tube flies sometimes have a tendency to not swim straight. So what I'm doing here is attaching a little bit of lead strip to the underside and that will hopefully turn the fly and make it swim on an even keel. Now the core of the tail a lot of times is uh, crystal hair. I'm going to add that, bind it across its middle and fold it back on itself. Then add a bit of super glue just to the wraps to hold it in. The basic body is made up of white synthetic fibre. So measure your length of fly, add 25 or 30 percent, and cut off a bunch, and then misalign your tips so that you don't end up with a blunt looking fly. Put that on and allow it to sort of envelop the tube. Over itself. And fold it back. Once you've folded it back, you can wrap over it if you feel like it. That'll keep it a much slimmer profile. And then again, super glue that. forward. You can, if you want, fill that gap with some sort of dubbing. But to be honest, if the body's thick enough, you're never going to see it anyway. Now, this is going to be a shorter bunch. Again, cut it and misalign it and allow it to envelop the hook. One loop is loose and then you tighten it up and that allows it to splay around your tube and then I fold it back on itself pull it down. This one I would tend not to wrap over if I can help it but wrap up to the back of it that will force the, the butts back and flare them and then the super glue will set it in position. Now on the back of this fly I'm going to use a bit of 2mm Magnum holographic silver flash. The first bit is measured to roughly the length of the fly then fold back on itself this bit being shorter and give you a little bit of taper rather than all the lengths being the same. Red and white flies, I always like to have a bit of grizzle hackle. I'm going to pick two out of there and put one on each side. On your side, look at it across the top to measure the tips up so it's roughly equal. Now, to make that extra secure, you can run super glue down your thread and bind it off. Cut off those tips. The head is going to be made of red arctic fox. You can use craft fur if you feel like it. I just find the fox it seems to be a bit stronger, has a more natural taper to it. Pull out your base furs Allow that to envelop the shank, put on a loose turn, pull it tight on a few turns. Again, same thing. Get a super glue down the thread and wrap it in, then fold it back on itself and wrap. 
top at the front. And here again, a little bit of super glue. I'll push it back on itself just to set the bases. I get covered in super glue every time I tie pike flies. So I need another bunch now. So same story. Cut off a bunch. Pull out the base fluff. Present it up to your hook. Allow it to envelop the whole way around. Put on a loose turn. This one's fairly tight up to the back of the flange of the, the tube and pull it tight. Let it bind down on itself. Super glue your thread. And wrap it in. I'm going to pull that back. Wrap on at the front. And I'm going to finish that off with a couple of half inch loops. Just be careful how tight you pull. gel spun as is extremely strong and sharp it'll cut you. Essentially that's the fly. Just brush out your head. And add a bit of super glue onto your weapons. Just to let it wick into the base of your fibers. We'll set it. So that's essentially the fly tied, but it needs eyes. Here I'm going to use a silver eye. I'm going to use roughly a 10, I think it's 10 or 12 millimeters, and attach it with Evo Stick Serious Glue. Put a blob on the back of the eye. Place it up where you want it to go press it in, the glue will blob up around it. What I do then is I just wet my finger. And I like to get a little bit of the lip of the glue going back over the eye just to help it stay on and to help it stop delaminating itself. Because they're bait on a foil and sometimes they can come apart. So repeat the process on this side, just see it's in roughly the same place. Wash it down. Lick your finger. favorite and most effective color combination. Hopefully it catches you a big one.